morning. You're watching this. Got me in this. We're to the day by you ass where you can see exactly where we are. You know that we are at the Ness or Timoth looking over towards the Ness. At Timoth looking towards the Ness. Let's flip that camera around, take all that conditions. A few of my Facebook fat pals were saying, look, a bit breezy today, Steve's dog. They're right, it is a bit breezy today. So this is a sort of well thunk about idea here so you can perhaps see the tide is racing at the moment outwards the wind is going right to left so we've got an offshore as well you think, oh my god steve what are you doing but what i'm going to do look, is i'm just going to rattle across there carefully mindfully and as soon as i get in around the back of the nest i should be in the lee of those cliffs and the conditions will be good the only thing of course i've got to be really careful of is when i'm coming back so coming back i'm gonna have to head across to get across that um, shipping lane, across there, as quick as I can, um, rather than trying to fight the current. And then when I get over kind of this way, I'll then head directly in. So it's all gonna be good, but I might have about 200 meters of hard graft to get in, but, and I might be on my knees doing that to stay low and not let the wind catch me as much. We shall see stick with me because i'm going to get on that board now he's already pumped up i'm going to chuck a wetsuit on and get you some early spring late winter underwater footage hopefully and um just stick with me though to see what it's like around the other side let's let's go let's do it right now <laughs> So here we are folks, out and around the corner. What's it like? The clouds are going that way. The wind is kind of coming in that way. So I'm guessing that the wind comes over the top and is maybe swirling around, I don't know. The conditions aren't too bad. There's, there is a little bit, and the wind's blowing me around. It's blowing back towards Timoth at the minute, which is gonna be good. Um, but the... The conditions aren't too bad. There's a little bit of movement in the water, which you can probably see. And the waves on Ness Beach are just rolling in gently. So it's not, um, it's not, it's not perfect conditions by any stretch, but it's pretty darn peaceful out here. And sun in the distance, a little bit of drizzle or fog over by um, Maiden Coon by the look of it but not where I am. So all I'm gonna to do today, folks, is mooch on down here and maybe just go in a smuggler, so not a very long paddle, and then grab a swim because I had a beer too many last night and I need to get rid of those cobwebs. On we go towards smugglers. Well, I ain't trying to be no jerk just that I just got off from work And I know you'd like to bend my ear I want to listen and that's sincere Can't a fella have just one beer Before the boss, the bank, a box full of bills Empty gas tanking, it's all uphill The wife, the kids, why do we all exist?
Got down here folks, I had the hat on a minute ago, blimmin' roasting. And that's why I came out today, temperature folks. Got my drink, got my little breakfast bar. Let's show you around, show you what it's like here. Was it worth me coming out? Really nice, really nice to get out. It's sort of mid to late Feb. It's 15 degrees or something they reckon today. It's unheard of, isn't it? Um, it's beautiful and of course the one thing is if you can get out and enjoy the conditions it's not too cold then you haven't got those cold hands and cold feet and we know that your extremities when they get cold they can turn a nice paddle boarding session into a horrible one wind conditions are fine because of the shelter from all of these cliffs along here and the wind is actually coming over the top and swirling around and then it's coming this way it's coming back towards us so, and there's a little bit of surface sort of chop, surface swell, you might call it. It's not quite chop, but it's a bit more than, I don't know, it's not quite as clean as like a ground swell. So, there's a few waves coming through. Honey little ones, really good for keeping you on your toes. Let's give you guys a moment without me nattering while I have a drink. That's going to be good, isn't it? So of course folks, there are lots of hazards along these cliffs. As you can see there, look. A lot of fresh rock fall, and that's, that's come out quite a way. It's landed and then rolled out probably, um, probably 10 or 12 feet. And then over here, a lot of fresh, a lot of fresh um, rock fall there as well. So when you're on these beaches, any time of year, don't go up near the cliff. Always stay down away from the cliff cliff, because this stuff can come away at any time. Um, one indicator, this is quite interesting, you might think for once. One indicator of our recent rock falls is the redness, the muddiness in the water here. It goes out about 20 feet, 30 feet maybe, and it's it's a real rich red. It's 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 so recent I would have thought. And it's going to take a little while for that redness to be washed away or to sink out into the sand. So, little indicator there that rock falls at the moment in this locality are happening. The one thing, of course, that is a real benefit of coming to this beach compared to Ness Cove, and this beach is like probably a quarter of the length of Ness Cove, it's just that you just you just get away from people. That that sort of solitude you've got to get here by water you can't walk here you need to get here by by water there's a big house on top of the hill there beautiful house they've got to get in their car or, uh, or on their bike to get to the sea um, and then they're gonna to have to get on their paddleboard to come here so this is really um, difficult to get to I don't I think it's impossible to get to other than by sea so there you go folks I'm gonna head on back now and I'm gonna go in because it's so warm and I've got a 4-3, 5-4, I don't know, 5-3 five, five, I think, wetsuit on. So, um, yeah, it's warm. Worth coming out. On we go. Look outside and see a world on fire The lower in the boom and the creek's getting higher Gotta be ready cause we're on the break I'll do better after just one drink Give me a minute so I can unthink
few other boaters out on the water. That's called a pair of skulls. I'm not making this up, am I? They're, those are gigs, I think they call them. One of them's called Team Grace. See what they've done there? The other one, I forgot the name, was going too fast. Um, I didn't spot the name. The wind is in my back. See that gentle ripple on the water? It's lovely, isn't it? Back at the mouth of the estuary, a seal's just in front of me here, and he just saw me and just popped down. Oh, but I'm like, I don't like the look of that. Um, the boaters, as I call them, and I'm having to put a shift in to get in because it is really full tilt coming out there. So I'm going to be heading across. There's a green boy across the way there. Of the nautical sense, I know I always say that. So we're going to head over that way and see if we can see that, get over to that one. Direct line basically towards the theatre. Um, not going against the current for me. And then when I get over by that green boy, I can then probably just sort of turn left and then I go. Do you know, it is so mellow out here. I almost, and my pal said, I'm not going out, it's too windy. And if I had known it was as gentle as this, I'd have, I'd have begged him to come out because it's been perfect. But you don't know, do you? You have a punt, looking on the windy app, aware of these big old cliffs behind. Um, there they are, of course. Oh, it'd be nice if that seal popped up again, wouldn't it? Hey ho. Let's turn the camera around, maybe he's behind me. Nope. In, and we go then, put a shift in Steve Dog through that lot. Just one drink Give me a minute So I can unthink About the boss, the bank The box full of bills Empty gas tank And it's all uphill The wife, the kids And why do we all exist? And politics, religion And war to the list Tell me is there anything That I missed And I'll get to the bottom of that After I get to the bottom of this After I get to the bottom of this, yeah. Getting down to the bottom, on dry land folks um yes i cut across towards that green boy which you might be able to see in the middle of a shot now but it was easy life really i think the angle of the board meant that the the current actually pushed me across so it's dead easy um no concerns at all and actually down there down there it's quite a way down isn't it um not a lot of breeze really i've i've been in for another swim as well just with my trunks on just over in the um, back beach and uh really really glad i got out in the end and it was debatable whether or not i would go but you know gotta do it see you soon see you on the water join me on the water sometime and then as rich once said you can be on the paddle boarding, schmaddle boarding, flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.